let's talk about interest rates, the housing market, the economy with our good friend David Hall, Hall Financial, here to tell us uh, and help us uh, navigate through these times right now. Uh, David, and just big picture, tell us what you're seeing right now in the housing market. Well, it's been really interesting. You know, uh, over the last, let's call it two or three months, mortgage interest rates have come down quite a bit, actually. So the same person that got pre-approved in June for, let's say, a $250,000 home now is approved for over 300000 because of the affordability that's been created by rates basically going from the high sevens to the low sixes. It's been quite a drop. So we had a uh, really interesting couple of years coming off of that great year in 2021 for mortgage interest rates. But interestingly, values have continued to go up. The latest numbers that came out last month, nationally, 4 or 5%. Housing values have gone up, which in an upward moving rate environment, I don't want to call it surprising, but I think a lot of folks thought that values might take a hit, and they didn't. So a lot of good news for homeowners. If you bought a home last year in the upward moving rate environment, you can now refinance and get a lower payment. So a lot that, of interesting info. That would absolutely uh, be something worth considering. And just going back to the uh, uh, home values rising, but interest rates going down, that's kind of not how it traditionally is, right? When the interest rates come down, you would expect that those home prices to drop a little bit, no? Yeah, well, what happened is that a lot of people in 2021 locked in a very, very low rate. Mm. And so as time has gone on from 2021, a lot of people didn't want to move, give up that rate, pay more for a house, and pay for a higher interest rate. So we had a very limited supply of homes available nationwide. That's that supply is starting to loosen a little bit. As we mm. get further and further away from 2021, right, life happens. Mm. People want a new neighborhood, they need a bigger house, their family might be expanding, so they need to make a move. And as rates have crept down, where now you actually have the opportunity, if you want to pay a couple points, you can get into the low fives right now in terms of an interest rate. So I think we're going to start to see more and more supply come to the market because it becomes more affordable for those folks that locked in that low interest rate to move. What do we anticipate the Fed doing here in the fourth quarter here? Uh, uh, in terms of interest rates? It's a good question. So uh, September 18th, the Fed is either going to lower a quarter or a half. It's 50-50 right now. They're definitely going to lower. Then November and December are the last two meetings of the year. The market has priced in 100 basis points of moves to the downward between now and the end of the year. So the market believes that it's going to go quarter, half, quarter, 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 half, whatever it's going to be, but a full point so that the guidance will be, it'll move down from five to five and a quarter to four and four and a quarter. And then the market also believes there's going to be another 100 basis points next year. So I think that this restrictive policy that the Fed has mm. created because of inflation, they're going to start to move off of that and it's going to become more affordable. Credit card interest rates are going to come down. Uh, uh, auto and, loans are going to come down. And we talk about that. Yeah. Uh, we, we, we were talking just before we came on here, uh, what, what was it, two-thirds of Americans don't have $1,000 in their savings account, and a lot of the reason people are swiping that credit card to pay for everyday goods. And I think that we're going to find that as we move into an election, I think you're going to find that interest rates, and I don't think it's a conspiracy theory, by the way, I think it's happenstance that we're going to see rates coming down. A product of the calendar. I think so. Yes. And I think that the opportunity for folks to have a less of a burden with their credit cards is going to be very real, which is great news for a lot of consumers. If you're a buyer in this market and you hear this news about, you know, interest rate, interest rates most likely coming down over the next couple of weeks and months, what would you advise them to well, do? Well, I'd advise the same thing I did 12 months ago. So 12 months ago, we said, even though rates are higher, if you buy the house now, you're going to get a better deal on it than you will 12 months from now, and you can always refinance. So I still feel the same way. I think rates will continue to come down, but I think that housing prices are going to continue to elevate to some degree. So I think buying now, refinancing later is still the play, but it all depends on your family situation. Situation. Without question. Uh, I can talk to you all day about this stuff. It's really fascinating. Uh, if you want to get in touch with David, call hallfirst.com. That's it. How about it? Thank Dave, you. Thanks so Appreciate much. Appreciate it. Uh, go Lions, by the way. Go Michigan. Yeah, go Blue. Go Lions. It. Go everybody. Super Bowl? What a game Sunday night. Oh, yeah. All the way. Uh, Big Ten Championship for Michigan? Uh, not uh, this year. We got to yeah. go. We got to go. We ran on the, the Super Bowl. Bowl. <laughs> Super Bowl. <laughs>